Hello everybody and welcome to VFR. Today we are here on the ground at Los Angeles International Airport. We're going to be taking the Alpha Tauri Honda Jet into Vegas. Danny Ricks and uh, Yuki have finished their uh, press work in LA. And we're taking them up to Vegas to get ready for the big F1 race in Vegas next week. Now this is slightly anachronistic as far as I can tell. The, uh, the real Alpha Tauri Honda Jet is still in Austria. They wouldn't take it this far. It's really not a long-range jet, but for um, uh, you know the the H company wanted to get some press, so it's over here flying around for pictures uh, this weekend. So we're gonna get in. Should be a pretty straightforward flight, but we're gonna knock off some rust with the H jet and um, and have some fun with the uh, with all the updates. All right, so we got the flight plan uh, programmed in in the box here. It's a pretty simple one. We're basically straight from the Orca 5 departure to Mizzen um, out of LAX. And then at Mizzen, we're picking up the Rounders 2 into Vegas. We're planning on a, a runway 25 right departure here at Los Angeles. If I can pull up the charts. 25 right at Los Angeles. So the closest, we'll have to cross 2-5 left, uh, but nothing's online right now. So 2-5 right here, shooting off towards the ocean, and then we're on to the Orca 5. Orca 5, um, we're going to fly a heading of 236 initially. Heading 236. And then we will vector over to kegs, it looks like. And we do have an RNAV waypoint, uh, RNAV docker there, but 236 uh, leaving docker. So docker, RNAV docker, 236, at or below 3,000 feet. Then we will climb up and to hit clipper here at 10,000, at or above 10,000 over the ocean, kegs, and then climbing the rest of the way out. And then we're going for the mizzen transition, which is here. Uh, but no, we filed flight level 390. I don't know if we're going to hit that. We should be able to, but we won't be there for long. Getting into Vegas, we're on the Rounders 2. Rounders 2 from Mizzen, flight level 240 at Mizzen. So once we hit that, we'll have the, we'll try to aim for 240 there and then go on down. And we do have that programmed into here, into our, um, into our um, FMS here. So our flight plan has the uh, altitudes, so we're good to go there. So let's run our checklists here. Uh, battery is on, oxygen is normal and on, pressurization is normal, electrical on and normal. So we're seeing a bunch of on and normals here. ELT is in the normal position, nose wheel steering, normal. Landing gear is in fact down, and it's down on the hardware axis too. Alternate gear release handle is fully stowed, parking brake is pulled out, flaps are up. Thrust levers are in the cutoff position. Speed brakes are retracted. Ice protection is normal and off, as we're seeing here. Fuel panel, we're seeing all norm. Trim panel checked, set, norm. Yep, that looks good. Windshield heat is normal. Pneumatic panel is normal, unless something strange happened in the coating. Glare shield, glare shield panel is dark. Chime normal, and uh, our avionics initialization has been completed. We're pretty heavy today. We got about 1,700 pounds of fuel and four passengers going up to uh, Las Vegas. So we'll be um, we'll be a little bit heavily loaded. All right, well, let's clean up the rest of the airplane and get pushed out to a place where we can can uh, start up the engines. We got a little bit of room here. We can start prepare to start the engines. Our pastor briefing, uh, we have completed that. We're gonna be uh, heading up. Uh, we will um, I'll yell back when we can turn off the when you can unbuckle. Otherwise, have a good time in the back there. Uh, rudder pedals are adjusted, and my actual physical ones are working. Seats and seat belts are adjusted and on. Doors are all closed. Parking brake is set. Uh, cast messages, uh, things are indicating that we don't have engines running at the moment. 
electric volts we have 25 showing now so that's above 23.5 engine start ready to go we're going to start engine two here click the green button and make the fan spin And we have things rising. And one of 10, so we can bring it in and out of the idle cutoff. And just to idle. Weather right now at, uh, here at Los Angeles Altimeter 3006. We've got very vari winds variable at three knots and some scattered clouds at uh, 12,000. Zero, zero, 006. It's all good. We can start the second engine now. And two rising. Everything else is green. And at idle cut off. Engine instruments, everything is looking green to me right now. Engine anti ice really shouldn't be required today. We'll keep an eye on the temperature. External power has been disconnected and flight controls. Free and correct. Support taxi wing anti ice. Um, I got to put in our transponder. We'll just make that 2000 for the moment. And we are in auto. We'll go ahead and do altitude. Flight ID today we're dot com 88. Trying to shield who and what we're moving flight plan has been entered and it looks reasonable we're going in generally the right direction to the right places so that's good nav source is fms altimeter set 3006 flaps set takeoff Speed brake, we'll make sure we get a speed brake extended here. We do. Cabin signs. Seatbelt signs are on, everything else is good. We'll release the parking brake. All right, so for our taxi, it shouldn't be anything too crazy. Uh, looks like we'll go Alpha Foxtrot, crossing 25 left of Foxtrot there. And then we'll hold short at 2.5 right and fire off when we can get into line. I don't think there's any other traffic on the field right now, but we will see. Los Angeles traffic dot com 88 on a jet uh taxiing runway 25 right the alpha box drop cross 25 left angels traffic dot com 88 uh, crossing 25 left box drop. All right, so we're just getting, I'm just getting everything configured here. And in this airplane in particular, and any G3000 type airplanes, but the HJet in particular, it's really good to get everything configured before you uh, hit the go button. Because uh, if something's a little bit off or you don't have the right nav waypoint set or something, it's a lot harder to change in than in a, than in a Boeing, in my opinion. It just, it all moves fast and some of these buttons are just a little bit, they're down and not where you're looking and stuff. So, before takeoff checks, flaps are set uh, in the takeoff. Position speed brakes are retracted. Cast messages, we're getting uh, nothing except for cabin power off, so let's turn on cabin power. That'll help. Nav set to FMS, we're gonna be basically shooting off runway heading. 
Flight guidance set, takeoff landing data confirmed. Our takeoff briefing, we're going to be taking off here on uh, 25 right. Uh, we're going to be going RNAV to our initial waypoint, which is Docker, RNAV Docker, at or below 3,000, then we'll loop around, climbing up to 10,000. Uh, V1 is uh, 108, rotating at 113, and uh, V2, 119. Anything uh, above V1, we're going to, uh, if you see any warnings, cautions, below V1, we're going to stop, apply full brakes, speed brakes, cut the power, and um, stop, abort takeoff. Anything above V1, we're going to take our problems into the air, and we'll uh, entertain whatever... Um, whatever eventualities we need to, but returning to the field will be our first option. Radar not required. Ice protection is set for the moment. We'll do after takeoff later, and I'm going to go full map just so we're not looking at anything else. All right, we're ready to roll. Los Angeles traffic. Dotcom 88, Honda Jet taking runway 25 right, departing out to the east. Los Angeles. Or right, take off, no cautions. Airspeed's alive. Taking a little bit of right rudder. B1. Rotate. And we're off. Um, we have FMS speed set right now. That's a speed of 150. That's right gear up. So we'll accelerate up to that and follow our flight directors. And we're going to engage the autopilot. I want to zoom in a little bit here, make sure we're looking good on our way to Docker. And then it's going to spit us off from a heading 236. We'll vector ourselves around. Flaps come up to... We can start to increase our speed. We'll climb out around 210. Do it manually for now. Until we've cleared Docker. And that's Docker there. So we'll bring the altitude up. We gotta be at above 10,000 before we get to Clipper. So we'll crank that up. And engage heading mode, which again should line up with where we're going. Los Angeles traffic.com 88 to clear to five right. Uh, climb through 5,000, burn out to the east. Last call, Los Angeles. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn us. Basically left 90 degrees and start our turn in. We're doing pretty well in altitude. Uh, our next restriction is uh, at or below 19,000 at kegs. We'll punch that in there. We could also uh, put v we could also put it in VNAV. We do have the E2 mod model of uh, HJet enabled, so we could run this all automatically with the, the auto throttle and a full VNAV, but for now we're going to keep it like this. Practice a little bit of flying. And I'm going to go ahead and give us direct to Clipper. And we can hand it back over to the navigation.
And with us being the uh, only plane really in the airspace, I'm gonna clear us up to our cruise altitude of 390, get a jump on climbing up that high. Not 4339. So we'll start the long trip up and see how high we get. All right, so we're going to stop the climb at 330 here. And we do, it looks like we have Las Vegas Approach online now. So, should get a little ATC coming into Vegas. Uh, but we'll level out, and we're going to just keep an eye on our little VSD, our vertical situation display. And we're going to have we're held top climb in a minute, and then we'll get down to top of descent. for Mizzen at 24,000 on the rounders, too. Now again, we'll just be prepared for a runway change to wherever approach wants to put us. I put two six left because it's off to the side, but um, we'll see what they're doing. I'll look up the ATIS and figure out what's going on. Las Vegas information, Papa, wind calm, tens or small visibility, one temperature one seven, altimeter three zero one five. They're using one left and two six left. So I don't know what we put in two six left. So. Uh, you know, there's a decent chance. We're going to come up on top of descent since uh, we don't need any clearance or anything. We're going to lower the uh, altitude now and let VNAV pick up the path. I believe we're going down to 8,000 on the rounders, and then we'll but we'll reevaluate once we get in touch with uh, with ATC on the ground. VegasApproach.com, 88, uh, flight level 200, descending rounders, 245 north of Daggett. Dogcom, 88. Las Vegas Approach, good afternoon. Squawk 461, uh... Squawk 4640. Squawk 4640.com88. 
1372, radar contact, climb unrestricted, flight level 190. 190, unrestricted, uh, 1372. Southcom 88, radar contact 3-4 miles southwest of the Las Vegas VOR. Continue descent rounders to arrival. One left transition. Information, Quebec is current. All right, we'll descend rounders to one left transition, and we'll get uh, the ATIS.com uh, 88. Quebec is descending rounders to one left transition. All right, so we got to do a little, little changing. Not much, actually, but... You know, then you gotta punch it back in to get to rounders, direct to rounders. And I should have taken it out of that and gone into hold. So now I want to go to Rumley. Uh, which is why I was glad I called them up when I did, because that was different than what I had planned. It's getting a little uh, unsettled, but we've recovered that. Head for Rumley, won 3,000. It's not a huge change to anything we're doing, but just something to shuffle around and let me get the right approach up. Quick checklist approach. Uh, seat signs, seat belts are on. Pastor briefing, we're going to go land. Cabin signs as required. Avionics are set up. Uh, we've got our landing data. We've got our bugs and approach speed of 113 at reference 108. Cast messages, nothing showing. Approach briefing, um, we're going to approach on the ILS runway one left. Uh, we got the frequency 110.1 in, and uh, we're going to listen and do what ATC says. Flaps will go to takeoff approach when we're down there. Yeah, I'm going to make the map big so that I can see. Las Vegas approach, Southwest 2855, uh, slot 14, information, keep back, ready for taxi. 2855, Las Vegas departure. Runway 1 right at Bravo, taxi via Bravo. We should also get our... Taxi 1 right at Bravo, via taxiway Bravo, southwest 2855. That was 1372, climb at your discretion, flight level 370. Leaving my airspace, radar service terminated, frequency change approved. Los Angeles Center is offline, switch to advisory 122.8. 37,000, unrestricted, 1372, have a good day. Stockholm 88 at uh, Roman cleared ILS one left approach. At Roman cleared ILS uh, one left approach. Stockholm 88. So we're getting down to 8,000. We're going to get down to 210 knots, and then we're going to shoot the ILS here, which is basically going to step us down from 7,000 um, to 6,300 until we get the uh, until we get the glide slope. Here comes Roman. We're going to basically maintain our course and then uh, throw it onto approach mode here. And then direct. Here, so... And I'm just going to step us down manually here. We're going down to 7,000. That's 2855. Wind 0705, runway 1 right at Bravo, clear for takeoff. Runway 1 8, or correction, 1 right at Bravo, clear for takeoff, southwest 2855. Now 
we got that punched in. Then condo, 6,300. Let's get the descent going. We're a bit high on profile. Short to catch up flaps. We're below 200 knots takeoff. And then we'll go gear here in a minute and try not to nosedive. All right, so we're getting the localizer, we're getting the glide slope. Here in a second. Good thing the guys in the back are F1 drivers. They'll be used to this kind of thing. And we're on the glide slope now. And we got the runway in sight, so we can fly it visually if we need to. South 2855, radar contact, say altitude. 2200 climbing, southwest 2855. 2855, altitude test, climb unrestricted, fly level 190. Unrestricted up to 190, southwest 2855. Stockholm 88, wind 080 at 5, runway. One left, clear to land. Runway one left, clear to land, dot com 88. Dot com 88, wind zero eight zero at five, runway one left, clear to land. Runway one left, clear to land, dot com 88. Hitting the wrong push to talk. Vegas departure southwest 36 36 spot 10 taxi with Quebec. No, 36 36 Vegas departure. Thanks for Quebec. Runway one right at Bravo taxi westbound Bravo. One right Bravo Bravo southwest 36 36. And we're getting close geared down. We're descending on path. And when we get down below 150, we can give it the rest of the flaps. Not super busy, so no one behind us, so I'm going to slow a little bit earlier. Then maybe we need to. And you can enjoy the Vegas approach. It is one of the more fun, play more fun cities, in my opinion, to fly into. A lot of cool airports. Bounded on all sides by terrain. Hot desert. It's a good time. Speed's good. Full flaps. And we'll let the autopilot compensate. Autopilot. I'm gonna take control. Flight director off. And our speeds are 113 and 108, so it gets pretty slow, especially compared to the big jets. But we're looking good right now. And I think I see eh, four white. We might be a little high.
100. 50. 30. 20. 10. Let's not float it, just let it come on down. Yeah, a little long. But not too bad. Com 88. Welcome to Las Vegas. You pack. Are you where are you parking? No, West GA ramp if we can. All right, Dockon 88. Exit left and taxi to the ramp. Well, exit and left taxi to the ramp. Uh, Dockon 88. We'll get off here at November. And we'll just take uh, Foxtrot all the way down. Southwest 2855, climate your discretion, fly level 280, leave my airspace, radar service terminated, frequency change, approved, centers offline. Welcome to Las Vegas. Vegas. Up to 280 and over Unicom, have a good one. Talk to us. We'll taxi on up to the ramp, get everyone unloaded. And get the guys on their way. Thanks for flying with us into Vegas. A good flight with a little bit of ATC. Oh, Vegas is always one of my favorite uh, airport air places to fly into over. It's always very visually interesting. Um, I wish the scenery was better, but that's all right. That's my own fault. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoy this flight, if you have any other flights you want us to do, drop them in the comments below. Um, all the usual YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, helps out the channel quite a lot. Hoping to pump out a lot more flights here in the next a few months we'll see how the holidays go but um but definitely good to be flying good to be flying the h jet and uh, yeah look forward to seeing you guys on the next one take it easy y'all